How's it going everybody? Austin Carter here with the Techline Leather and today I'm kind of revisiting a, uh, an old video I made. It's about a year old now, but I made a video about Harbor Freight's 20 ton shot press. Uh, in that video I showed you how I turned it into a clicker press on a budget um, because as we all know clicker presses for leather are pretty expensive and if you're like me I don't have that kind of money. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I took my one ton Arbor Press from Harbor Freight and turned it into a clicker press for under $100. Hope you all stick around and enjoy the video. So to start, I'm going to list out some of the prices of a few of the items I used for this build. First, from Lowe's, I purchased a 5 8 by 3 foot steel bar for about $11. Next, also from Lowe's, I purchased a quarter inch by 4 by 12 steel plate. This was also $11. I purchased my dies from Texas Custom Dies. I didn't include the price because they all vary. You can get cutting boards pretty much anywhere for around $10 or so, I found. I purchased the 2 inch foot plate for the Arbor Press from Salty Dog Leather. I did not include the price because, even though this part is nice, it is not necessary for the operation of the press. This next part is optional, but I used about $5 in 1x4 lumber to make the base of the press larger. And finally, you can pick up the Arbor Press at Harbor Freight for around $60, or if you use their 20% coupon, you can get it for around $48. First, secure your press to a solid surface. This step is very important because of the added leverage we're adding to the press. Next, I secure the one by fours to make the base. I found that three boards stacked on each other lined up perfectly with the press base. I gave the wood a good sanding making sure to get rid of all sharp edges and ensuring a smooth surface. Next I removed the end caps so that the original bar could slide off. Be sure to save the end caps so you can install them onto the new bar. Now it's time to adjust the height of the press so that the best leverage is applied. I start by laying everything down that will come under the force of the press and stack them so I find my height. Notice that I have not installed the new bar yet. Move everything into position and adjust the press where desired. Be sure that the hole where the new bar is going is at an angle where force may be applied. Install and tighten the new bar. I decided to run a few tests to see what the capabilities of the one ton press could handle. First up is some three to four ounce Herman Oak leather, which I make most of my wallet or interiors with. Be sure everything is centered. Because the press foot doesn't have much surface area, I needed to slide the cutting board to make sure that there was even coverage. As you can see, it clicked out nicely and I used very little muscle in doing so. Next, I added a die with a larger surface area. Looking back, I noticed I wasn't centered over the die, hence the partial cut. I 
I realigned everything and again it clicked out nicely the second time. Next up is a piece of 5 to 6 out Herman Oak leather. I use this weight of leather mostly for my wallet exteriors. As you can hear, there is a nice clean pop of the metal through the leather. Again, I use very little force when clicking the 5 to 6 ounce leather. On another piece of 5 to 6 ounce Herman Oak leather, I went for the biggest die I had to see just how well the press would do. Please remember, as I made this video, all these findings were new to me and I wanted to do a test for you all to see. I found that matching surface areas was key to the success of this press. As I placed the smaller piece of steel over the die, I already could tell that that wouldn't work. I then used my piece of 12 by 12 steel, which worked much better. I also found that if I turned the cutting board as I went, I could focus on cutting each edge, which worked well as you can see. Well y'all, so as you can see, for less than $100, you can have a simple leather clicker press. Obviously it would be less if you had access to cheaper materials or you already had them. Links of everything will be in the description below. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if what I'm doing is something you're into. Until the next video, y'all have a great day.